but it did not affect, it did not affect the November 20th uh, uh, enunciation of our priorities by the Secretary and which we clearly implemented uh, uh, people. I, we have actually put out in the field substantial training on this, sir, and uh, every officer uses one of these cards which clearly outlines those priorities. Um, they carry it with them, I, quite <clears throat> frankly. I carry it myself and uh, try to make sure that each of these priorities, uh, both with respect to uh, the first, uh, the first one is outlined in the front, the second and third priorities on the back. Again, trying to make an, uh, an effort to clarify for law enforcement uh, where our priorities should be. So that is what is meant by that, is that we're not, the only thing that was affected by the injunction was the expansion of, mm -hmm. of DACA and the uh, uh, new initiation of the DAPA program. Very good. Now, what steps is ICE taking to ensure that persons who are not a priority for removal are not targeted for enforcement actions or are not inadvertently swept up in enforcement actions? Well, one of the steps, sir, is the training, and it was substantial, and we just completed it in January, which was the initiation kickoff of the executive actions, and that includes those uh, priorities. Uh, I have met with every one of the field office directors in the entire country by video. I have directed them that if they have any questions, they are to uh, raise it up their chain and ultimately to me, who bears the ultimate responsibility with respect to the appropriate enforcement of those priorities. Uh, we have, our training doesn't stop just with uh, that that was completed initially. It is a continuing uh, um, kind of uh, spectrum. And uh, I have also met with our lawyers. Uh, there are about 900 of them across the country which work with the immigration courts in order to ensure in their review of the priorities and the people who have been targeted for enforcement that they're in line with those priorities.